Happy December 7th, 2015 knitters. Um, just wanted to make a quick video here on uh, how to work this color work hat, um, this Fair Isle hat in the round um, using both the continental method picking and also um, throwing. So we're going to be using two fingers here and when I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing quite um, short um, what do you call them draws in the back and uh, I don't really have any that are less than about three stitches because I'm just wanting um, for it not to be catchy um, so yeah, that's what we're working on. Uh, this is one of my latest designs and I'm really pleased with how it's turning out. I started with a provisional crochet provisional cast on. Um, so I cast on uh, a crochet chain um, my stitches. I cast onto a crochet chain or into a crochet chain my stitches and then what I did is I knit um, for as many rows as I wanted my um, hem to be and that's the blue that you see here and then I joined my next color and I did a, a jogless join so I knit my first round and on my second round I slipped the first stitch as if to purl and then I continued with a purl one knit one sorry a purl two knit three uh, ribbing or a knit three purl two is what I actually ended up doing. Um, it can all be found in my um, latest pattern called Blue Spruce and I am so in love with this hat. It's everything about every hat that I've ever made that I love the most so I've just incorporated it into into this beautiful design. Um, I'm going to have three different sizes as well as a video tutorial to go along with helping you do the hem, helping you do the, um, you know, the, the first color and then changing to the second color and then actually picking up um, and knitting the two stitches together to, to finish the hem. Um, I had woven in the, um, the... I guess the cast on uh, end here and so I just need to work this in a little bit more um, because when I went to uh, knit the two stitches together it kind of pulled out a little bit so um, not bad though it, it looks pretty clean it's it can be worn up it can be worn down as a slouchy and the most exciting thing is it's going to be getting a fox fur pom-pom and I'm so crazy excited about that. So this is my own hand dyed yarn. This is uh, from yycknits.com. Um, I'll be selling the um, the kits to make this with including the the pom-pom the real fox fur pom-pom which is actually actually sorry it's raccoon fur um and it's like a black with a with a gray in it which is absolutely perfect because this is a very tonal hand dyed yarn um that i've dyed myself so i'm so excited about this hat the other awesome thing about this hat pattern is that um, $2 of the $2.50 um, fee that I'll be asking for the pattern on Ravelry, $2 of that $2.50 is going towards um, my favorite charity and I haven't quite figured out whether it's going to be um, Global Aid Network or GAIN or whether it's going to be Operation Christmas Child or whether it's going to be... Um, uh what's the other one Samaritan's Purse I'm not sure if those two are, are two in the same but you know Christmas is a tough time at times for me um just seeing the the consumerism out there when you know there's people in the world who 
don't have clean water to drink. And um, I've definitely changed my ways as far as um, the way that I parent. And I don't buy my kids everything. We do as much as we can for others around the season. And, you know, as my kids get older, we'll do more and more Um you know, that like serving in the soup kitchen downtown, et cetera. And I just think that Christmas is such an important time of year to really show love and kindness. And uh, really, Christ is the reason for the season. And we need to um, remember that. So it's good. Anyways, I just wanted to, um, you know, quickly give a brief overview and uh, let you know where this came about, how this came to be. And I'm really, really excited to be able to give back. Um, so basically, we've got, um, we've got a chart here that we're working with. So we are on the row now that all we're doing is the, the stem, the colored stump of the tree or the stem of the tree in blue. And the rest of the hat all the way around is getting um, the black stitches. So here's our beginning of our round. So we've started with the blue for the uh, stem of the tree. Um, and then again here, we've got a blue one and we've got black all around, except for here we've got um, the stem as well. So we're working up to the stem. So um, we've got our two uh, balls of yarn here. And basically what I what I want to do is just show you how I'm working this. So basically, um, I am going to have my uh, blue yarn held my yarn that I'm that I'm only using sporadically held with this finger here over this hand and kind of tacked in place behind my knitting and then this hand here which I'm throwing with is actually um, my my working yarn that I'm using the most so I'm gonna try the best that I can to keep this in focus for you and all I'm gonna be doing in blue is my stem of my tree my Christmas tree all the way around and what I'm trying to do is tack this blue stitch every three stitches. So I've got one there now. And so this would be two and this would be three. So on my third one, I wanna tack this stitch. And how I do that is when I go in this stitch to knit, I'm going to put my needle behind, kinda of lay that stitch over and then I'm going to put my yarn over and put it to the back again. And all that's going to do is it's going to tack it in behind. So I've got my stem here coming up. So I'm just going to knit this one normally. And then here I'm going to just pick my blue from behind. So I've got that going on. Now this is great because this is good practice getting to the next one. So I've got one, two, and then on my third one, I'm going to just tack, I'm going to put the yarn over and then put it back to the back again and that just tacks it in the back and we'll do it again, one, two, three, actually I should have done it on the third but I'll do it on the fourth, it's no big deal. Um, so I'm going to just, when I go to knit that, I'm going to go under that thread, around with the black, back over, and through. So it's just tacking it in behind. So there's a little, it's carrying the stitches for me all the way around um, the hat. Um, I want my yarn to be doubled all the way around for the whole hat um, until I'm finished completely with the blue, um, for the blue spruce. So we'll just keep going here for a little bit until you can see how I'm doing this. This is the third, so I'm going to go behind. And really, um, I was kind of exaggerating how this is done at first because it might be a little tricky to see. And you know, like every two or three, sometimes four stitches, of course, I'm talking, so I'm not able to 
count as much, but it becomes a really fluid movement where you don't even notice what you're doing. And that's how it's working out. So So every every third stitch I'm just tacking by going under and over again. And this is the stem of our tree. So we're gonna pick the blue up instead of the black. It's a little tricky to knit around the camera, so I apologize in advance. But anyways, that's how I do color work. Um, it actually might be worth it here, just me um, going right to the end of the row because we're going to be able to show you here um, where we're going to end up. And we'll be able to show you here also how I use, how I switch off to the black. Sometimes our yarns get tangled in behind, so we can just kind of untangle them. All right, so here's our blue. We've got our blue here, we've got our black here. So we've got a little ways to go. One, two, three. And then we're at the beginning of our round again here. And so we're just gonna so our so we don't lose our marker marker we'll just knit that first stitch I always like to do that um, if I'm putting my knitting down uh, so my marker doesn't fall out and get lost so this is our um, blue spruce hat I've just got where my colors were rejoined here so I've just got to work those in on the inside because I ran out of my blue so I wound another um, ball on my handy dandy ball winder and so what we're working on now is uh, the next row from our pattern so we've got uh, we're gonna have so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knit with the blue now and I'm just tacking the black the same as I did. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, how many, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, so I'm on one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I'm doing four um, stitches from the center um, stem. So one, two, three, four. And so basically, now I'm going to one, two, three, four, until I'm four away from this stem on this side of the tree, I'm actually gonna knit in the black. 
So I've got my blue in this hand. So what I'm just going to do is switch them around. And I am going to start knitting with my black. So this is three, one, two. So on that third one, just to tack it, I'm going to go underneath or over that and then back again and tack it. Just to exaggerate it for you, that's how it looks. But when you get a couple practices in, you'll be a pro. So we're just going to pick. Well, see, the problem with picking these is now I've got to tack my black because I'm going to go with the blue around. So I'm going to actually put my black underneath my blue and I'm going to throw with my blue, okay, because I'm on my third stitch. So I'm going to tack that black. One, two. Again, I'm going to tack the black one in the back. And then one, two, and we have one more. So we tack the black. Okay, so this is a good um, example to show you. So again, I'm just going to switch them back again. And actually, if you look at the back, um, the blue is on the left side. And I'm not going to twist them around or do anything crazy. I'm just going to leave it there as it is naturally. And I'm going to take this one as it is naturally laying in the back. And I'm just going to start uh, knitting with my black. So we do all the way to one, two, three, four stitches before that stem, that ma main stem of the tree um, with the black. So whatever color we're, we're working with um, majority is the color that we're going to have that we're going to throw with with this finger. And the other one we're going to be tacking every three or four stitches or whatever you prefer, however you want your, um, your draws to be in the back. So this is the third one. One, two, and we've got four stitches here, so we're gonna switch it around again. One, two, and on the third one, we're going to pin that black. One, two, and we've got four on each side of the stem. So we're doing good. So again, I'm just going to revert to my black one. And as you can see, I don't have any crazy stuff going on here. My, my blue is on this side. My black is here. Nothing's getting tangled up. Um, this actually works like a dream. And again, I'm just showing you guys this working around my camera here. So... I hope that you can see what I'm doing. So when I'm just knitting and not tacking these stitches, I'm keeping the blue just in the back out of the way. But on the one that I'm going to tack, I'm going to go under the blue. When I go in with my needle, around, off with the blue, and back. And all that does is just um, tax it in the back. So we've got really good tension as well. Um, that's something that comes with practice. So I'm really happy with that. Um, it's just as stretchy as, as, my, um, as my band here. So yeah, hope that gives you a few tips on um, color work, um, happy knitting. <laughs>